YouTube, but who is Sugar? <laughs> Back with another video, baby. guys i am back to show you all how to create this oh so fabulous cascading band to knot hairstyle that will work if you have natural transitioning or relaxed hair and i promise you it is super duper easy so if you want to know how i achieved this look stay tuned now a bit of a disclaimer i wasn't feeling well i was looking a complete mess and i have like this breakout situation happening on my face but anyway so my hair was previously straightened via flat ironing technology. I've been going to the gym. My hair started to look a bit of a mess and I wanted to cutify myself, but I didn't want to use additional heat, nor did I feel like shampooing and bam, this is what I came up with. Now I'm using the Entwine Couture Collection to style my hair. I'm using the Creme de la Mode to slick down those edges. I'm using the Cream Jelly Styler to set the Bantu knots. And for moisture, yes, your hair needs moisture. I'm using the Buttercream Hydrator. Here are the tools that I'm using, a brush, a comb, hair clip, hair pins, and bobbit pins. Now the first thing you wanna do is you want to position your hair on the side where you want the whole cascading action. I like for my hair to cascade on my left side because my right side is like my everything side. Now we're using the creme de la mode and I'm taking a generous amount and I'm placing it in the palm of my hand to warm the product up a bit and I'm going to place it on the side that we want to be nice and smooth. Now the creme de la mode doesn't have as much moisture in there so you don't have to worry about your hair reverting back especially if your hair has been straightened. Now we're going Going to gently brush our hair to smooth it and also to distribute the product here okay so look I got caught up with Instagram and I totally forgot to record me putting the whole bobby pins on the side so I created almost like a half faux hawk type situation on that side now we're going to use the creme jelly styler and the buttercream hydrator and I'm applying it to a large section of hair make sure you get that product on the ends because the ends of our hair for me tend to be the most dry now I'm taking my comb and I'm just combing through to remove tangles remember my hair was previously straightened so I'm not worried about you know breakage or anything like that now what I'm going to do is attempt to show you all how to achieve my oh so famous bantu knot okay now the first thing you want to do is you want to twist your hair at the root like so when you twist your hair it creates almost like some tension so that you're able to create the knot so you're going to twist your hair like you're twisting it and kind of twirling it around your finger you're going to twist it onto itself and you're gonna have your other hand with your finger holding the part that you just twisted. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, again, twirl the hair so it makes almost like a coil, and then you're going to twirl it around the base so it kind of creates a bit of height. Y'all see what's happening on the screen. I'm telling you, it is so easy once you get the hang of it. Now you're going to secure it with your hair pin. You can also use a bobby pin or one of those black rubber bands. Now I'm gonna show it to you again. Again, we're applying the Creme Jelly Styler and the Putter Cream Hydrator to my hair. Now, like I said before, my hair was previously flat ironed, so I am just making sure I don't have any tangles. If you experience some tangles, I'm gonna need for you to start from the bottom and work your way up because you don't want to experience any breakage now make sure again that you apply the product to the ends of your hair because I find that the end of my hair tends to be the most dry now this time I am twirling it between my fingers and I'm going all the way down the hair so if you notice that your hair starts to get out of control when you're trying to create the bantu knot it may be helpful for you to sort of pre twirl y'all see what's happening on the screen okay now we're going to create the bantu knot again you're twirling your hair and you're twisting it around the base. So you twirl, 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 you loop it around and then you take your other hand to hold it into place. I promise you, once you practice this thing, your hair will be absolutely amazing. But I find a lot of people have difficulty and they're like, but Suge, my hair didn't come out like yours. That is probably because you didn't twirl your hair first. You have to twirl it and then twist it. Twirl, twirl, twirl and twist. All right pin it and then boom there you go now if you find that it's a little too tight just all you gotta do is gently spin it in the opposite direction to loosen it up a bit and this is what it looks like once everything has been completed take one of those long scars and you're just going to position it so that your hair can set 
completely now if you sleep real wild you may want to put a bonnet on the top so that you know your hair doesn't come undone or any of those things all right so two days later i am dancing because i know my hair is going to be amazing because i allowed it to set for two days yay so remove your hairpins now i'm taking the total perfection argan oil also by entwine and applying it to my hands now you can remove your band to not two ways you can just go the opposite direction and it will usually come undone and this is what the curl looks like or you could take the tip or the tail and just undo it there so yep that is what is happening here. Oh my God, I just know my hair was going to be absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I still left a Bantu knot. Again, we're taking the Total Perfection Argan Oil and I'm applying some to the tips of my fingers. One, we want to have some extra shine and also we want to reduce the whole frizzing action. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of flattening out the Bantu knot and I'm sectioning it into threes. Now, I find the more that you section, the bigger it will be and the more likely you are to experience like some fuzzy frizziness and you may lose some of the definition. So yes, ma'am, honey. Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me I was a cute child. I was like literally running around the house proclaiming how fancy and fine my hair and stuff was. Now, if your parts are showing, just take a comb or a pick and just gently lift the roots to get rid of those funky parts if you have them. Now, I got so caught up with my hair, I forgot to show this part. Now, I'm removing my bobby pins on the right side, but on the left side, you'll see that I did put them back to make it nice and even. And to cover up the bobby pins, I'm just using some hair pins and just taking some of my hair to cover up the part so that you don't see all the magic that went to creating this particular hairstyle. So, yes, I absolutely love, love, love how this came and turned out. So, I'm taking some more of the Argan Oil and I'm just applying it to the side for additional shine when I tell you my hair was like bling and honey the camera none of this it doesn't even begin to show you how amazing my hair was it was super duper soft it was moisturized and when I tell you honey my family was like what did you do to your hair your hair looks the bomb and I was like it was these products child just did all of this honey so yes ma'am and yes sir my hair is absolutely everything now i'm going to show you a few photographs so that you can see that you can have the hair going down or you can position it up at the top you like but shook what did you have on and stuff well this is what i wore shirt and stuff well guess what i am giving away one of these amazing shirts to one lucky lucky subscriber it's an extra large and here are all the rules on the screen i'm gonna leave the rules down below in the description bar so check it out yes i was feeling myself if you recreate this hairstyle tag me on instagram or twitter you're like but shook what did your hair look like the following day and things so yes my hair held up except for the front after sleeping well, going to the gym, and I'm telling you, my curls were on and popping. So yes, I was in the gym looking real cute with myself, honey. You couldn't tell me anything about this particular hairstyle. So yeah, that is it, guys, for the tutorial. Hope that you all enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting. Be blessed.